in this video we are going to discuss about the boost converters so the boost converters are also called as step up converters these are dc to dc converters which is going to produce an output voltage or an average output voltage greater than the input supply voltage okay so here you can see that vs is a supply voltage v out is the output voltage so the average value of your output will be greater than the supply voltage so that is why it is called a boost converter okay so it is also called the is also called as a step up converter now the step up converter using a smps is actually called a boost converter okay so the function is almost same to that of a step up converter itself now in this video we will be discussing about the structure working and also the cara that is the waveforms of a boost converter so this video is going to be a very quick revision on boost converters okay so we will be very quickly study on the working and everything okay so you can see clearly there is a switch here I'm going to call this switch as S. Okay, so this switch based on its turning on and turning off, this boost converter will be working. So this switch is actually called a chopper or a, this is a, nothing but a thyristor or an SCR. It will be turned off and turn, uh, turned on and turned off and the converter will be working likewise. Okay, so this is nothing but a DC to DC step up converter. Okay, step up converter is a function or DC to DC step up conversion is a function of a boost converter okay next we are going to see the working of a boost converter so this is the circuit diagram it is having a supply voltage there is an inductance there is a switch there is a diode which is a freewheeling diode the current flowing through the inductor is IL the current flowing through the diode is ID there is a capacitor connected parallel across the load so across the load we are going to get our output voltage okay Next, we are going to see the working of a boost converter, okay. So, there are two cases when the switch is on and when the switch is off. First, we are going to see when the switch is on, what will happen, okay. So, the switch on case. We are going to see the first case when the switch is on. So, when the switch is on, what will happen? When the switch is on, the current will be flowing from. So, here you can see that there is a closed path, the switch is on. So, in which, which path the current will be flowing? So, the current will start to flow from the positive terminal of the supply like this. The current will start to flow and it will be flowing in this loop. Clearly, when the switch is closed, there is a closed path created here that is towards the supply or the input side and the current will, will be flowing in this, this loop. Okay, So, in this loop, the current will be flowing and it will be starting from the positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal. Likewise, the current is flowing. Okay. So, here you can write as points I will be writing so that it will be easy for you to remember. So, the current it flows in input loop. You can call it as an input loop okay, because towards the input side. So, it will flow in the input loop. Another important thing which is happening here is the inductor is getting charged. Okay. So, there is only one element present in this loop which is the inductance. This is the switch which is closed. So, it will act as a closed path. Okay. So, the inductor is getting charged. And the polarity of the inductor will be like this. Here there is a positive, here there is a negative. So, like this, the current will be flowing and the inductor is getting charged. And you can clearly see there is no connection between the input and the output side. So, V out will be equal to 0. So, when the switch is on, V out is equal to 0. Okay. So, these all things are happening here and also the diode current is 0. ID is equal to 0. Why? Because there is actually no current flowing through this diode. Because there is no connection of this supply with this part. Okay. So, ID is equal to 0. So, here you can see clearly there is a short circuit created in this path. There is a closed loop created in this path. And due to which the inductor is getting charged. And V out will be equal to 0 and ID is equal to 0. So, these all things are happening when the switch is turned on. Next case, when the switch is turned off, next let us see the second case when the switch is off, okay. When the switch is off, what will happen? Let's see. So, I will remove this uh, current path because it will change for the second case. So, this was the earlier polarity of the inductor which has now charged to the full extent, okay. So, when the switch is on, the inductor is getting charged to the full extent. And when the switch is off means 
here there is a open loop okay so in the switch uh, that is in the position of the switch there is now a open circuit created because the switch is off okay so what will happen here is first the inductor will reverse its polarity and it will start to discharge okay so an open circuit is created at switch switch or our tie resistor okay that that is at the place of our uh, scr or tie resistor there is a open loop or an open circuit created okay and the inductor will reverse its polarity so it will be like this minus and plus okay and the inductor will start to discharge okay so the current will be flowing from the positive terminal like this so through the load okay like this the current will be flowing to the negative part okay so this will be the this will be the flow or the path of the current when the switch is off okay so here what is happening here is the inductor is getting discharged right so inductor polarity is changed and inductor is discharging okay so the inductor will be discharging and clearly the current will be flowing in the outer loop so this is the outer loop the current will be flowing in the outer loop from the positive terminal of the inductor to the negative likewise it will be going earlier it was positive negative now it is negative uh, negative positive so positive terminal to negative it will be going like that okay and here there is actually a connection between the vs and also the load so the output voltage coming here is not just vs but also we know that there is a voltage drop across the inductor so this vl is a voltage drop across the inductor this is a vl this is a voltage drop across the inductor and v out will be the sum of the supply voltage and the voltage drop across the inductor okay so this is these all things are happening when the switch is turned off so the switch is turned off means you are creating an open circuit here the inductor will reverse its polarity it will start to discharge and the current will be flowing in the outer loop and we are getting an output uh, voltage that is v out is equal to the supply voltage plus the voltage across the inductor and also here another thing it will be noted is that the diode will be conducting the diode will conduct in this case okay the earlier case the diode will not conduct why because there is actually no connection with the supply and there is no current flowing through the diode but here you can clearly see that the current is flowing through the diode and also it will start to conduct okay so these all things are happening here next we are going to see the waveform okay next we are going to see the waveforms of the bosch converter okay so while explaining the waveforms you will get a very clear idea on what all things are happening so we will take the two cases that is when the switch is on and when the switch is off so we will divide as the sessions of on and off so this is the switch case here the switch is on here the switch is off so likewise it is going to happen so like this it will go so this is the case of a s that is switch okay here it is on and here it is off here again it is on off likewise it is going okay so this is nothing but the t on case okay then this is again t on this is again t on okay and in between there is t off so i'll use a different color to represent that so this is t off here again there is a t off okay so alternately the switch is turning on and turning off like this it is going now first we are going to see the waveform of v out clearly i have written two cases when the switch is on and when the switch is off when switch is on you will get v out is equal to zero so the output voltage will be like this when switch is on you are going to get zero volt as output and when the switch is off you are getting since the inductor will discharge you are going to get uh, output voltage as here it is not just uh, vs but vs plus vl okay so this will be the output voltage 
here again 0 volt then it is again Vs plus Vl. This is Vs plus Vl. So likewise it is going. See this will be the waveform of your V out. Okay so I will use a different color so that it is easy for you to understand. So we will use a uh, red color. Okay so this is happening here. So the output voltage will be looking like this. I have marked the value inside the graph or the waveform. So this is your V out. Okay, next case. Next we are going to see the current. That is, we are going to see the inductor current and also we will be seeing what will be the, the waveform for the diode current. Okay, so first let us see the inductor current IL. You have uh, clearly seen that when the switch is on, inductor is getting charged. When it is getting charged means the current will gradually rise to a maximum value. Then it is getting discharged means current is getting removed from the inductor. So, I am going to draw the current on the inductor. So, it will be getting charged to a maximum value then it is getting discharged. It need not to be zero but it will be anyways decreasing. So, likewise it is growing. So, here clearly you can see when switch is on it is getting charged. Then here it is discharging. So, that is why the current is dropping. Okay. So, likewise it is getting repeated. Okay. So, this will be the waveform for a, uh, the inductor current. Okay. So, the current is increasing, then decreasing, then again increasing, then again decreasing. Likewise, it is going. Okay. There is no confusion actually. So, current is actually starting from a minimum value to a maximum value. Again, to a minimum, maximum. Likewise, it will be charging, discharging, charging, discharging. Likewise. Okay. Next, let us see the current on diode. Okay. So, we are going to see what is going to be the current waveform on ID or diode. Here, the diode is only conducting when the switch is off. And whatever current, clearly you can see, whatever current, see, they, the inductor and the diode are connected in which connection? In the series connection. In the series connection, the current is going to be the same. So, when switch is on, the diode is not conducting. So, the current is zero. But when the switch is off, you are going to get a value same as that of this current. Okay. So, likewise, I am going to use a different color. Okay. So, here the current will be zero when switch is on. When the switch is off, the current will be same as that of the inductor current. So, like this it is going to happen, okay. If you have any doubt in this ID waveform, I will explain to you once again. Here, this is nothing but zero axis, okay. This is zero. And when the switch is on, diode current is zero. Why? Because it is not conducting. But when the switch is off, inductor will discharge and whatever current is present in the inductor, it will be same as that in the Diode. See, they are connected in which connection? Series. So, current is same. So, this current will be same as that of the diode current. Okay. So, likewise, it is going. So, this is the case for a diode current. So, these are the waveforms of a Bosch converter. So, in this video, we have actually seen regarding the circuit, uh, the working and also we have seen the waveforms of a Bosch converter. Okay. So, very quickly, we have actually seen about Bosch converter. I am really hoping that you understood the topic. If yes, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, share with your friends. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.